I was working in New York as a lawyer. Uh, I started out my career uh, in the law. Uh, I come from a family of lawyers. Uh, my grandfather was a lawyer. My father was a lawyer. Um, and of course, you mentioned Yale Law School. Um, and uh, uh, I really wanted to uh, get away from the law and get into business. Uh, so my first exposure when I left the law practice was to get into private equity. Uh, and I worked for a small firm in New York. Uh, just by fluke, I got an opportunity to interview uh, with a firm called Investor AB. It's a Swedish company. Uh, they, it's a, a, a backed up by the uh, Wallenberg family, and they were making investments globally uh, and starting a new area of investment in medical technology, information technology, et cetera. And I, I was intrigued by the opportunity. Uh, someone I had worked for before in, in Hong Kong introduced me to the opportunity. Uh, so that's how I made my way back to Hong Kong. Um, and uh, and then uh, four years into my job there, I met Jack Ma. And, and how did that happen? Well, a, a mutual friend uh, introduced us. Um, and uh, uh, so the circumstances are interesting because uh, there's a friend of mine. His, his name is Jerry, uh, Jerry Wu, not Jerry Yang. It's another Jerry. And uh, uh, at the time, uh, Jerry had a, his own technology company. He tried to merge the business into Alibaba. And I asked Jerry, why do you want to sell your business? I, you don't even know what this Alibaba.com is about. And you do, you know, I barely know Jack. So what, what's, um, what's up? And he said, well, it's because Alibaba has a name .com in it. And I've, if I can merge my company into Jack's company, uh, maybe he'll take it public after six months and we'll, do really well. <laughs> so that was his motivation for introducing me to Jack. He said, you go to Hangzhou, Joe, uh, check him out, uh, see uh, what uh, what you think of Jack. So I went to Hangzhou. Uh, this was in May of uh, uh, 1999. And um, uh, I met him. Uh, it's in China. It was sort of the beginning of the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, I, I remember, I think Yahoo went public in 95 eBay came, came around 96. Uh, so China was a few years behind. And back then, only 10 million internet users in China. Right now, we're over 900 million internet users in, in China, uh, mobile internet users. Wow. So, it, it, so everything happened very, uh, very quickly. I, uh, after my first visit, I was just fascinated with uh, uh, not the business plan. The plan itself was kind of ordinary, uh, but I was fascinated with the person, with Jack. Was he um, a school teacher? Yeah, no, he, he had already founded uh, Alibaba. So I, you know, I stepped into his apartment. Uh, there were something like 15 people there. I saw 15 pairs of shoes uh, in front of the apartment before I went in. Um, and I met everyone. And then I, uh, then I had to use the washroom. So I went to the bathroom and saw 15 pairs of uh, toothbrushes. Uh, so people were living in that apartment cramped in there sleeping on the floor uh and uh and i thought wow this is like the real entrepreneurial spirit um and uh, i fell in love with uh, the, the the company back then it wasn't really much of a company um very small operation um but it was great so when i read that there were 18 co-founders was that the, the shoes yeah absolutely it was a shoe they were smelly shoes too um the uh I think one of the most important things to learn about Alibaba and, uh, is the, the ethos, the people behind it. And obviously, Jack is the main character. And Jack is a very inclusive person. Uh, when we, uh, In fact, when I met him first, uh, we hadn't even formed a company. We hadn't incorporated yet. Uh, so it was just a collection of people. Uh, be and because of my legal background, I said to Jack, look, I'll help you incorporate, uh, but who are the shareholders? Uh, he's, he, back then, you know, this was in 1999, he faxed me a list. I'm, I'm sure a lot of the students here haven't even used the fax before. Um, and uh, there were 18 names on that list. Uh, and I said, Jack, Jack you know, I'm, I'm talking about the founders of the business. Uh, I know you're the main founder. There may be a couple other people, but why 18 people? He said, well, these are all my students. In fact, most of the founders are about 10 years younger than Jack. Uh, and and my and me, uh, you know, I'm I'm the same age as Jack, and uh, they were students of his in 
uh, Sojiang University, where he was a lecturer in English and international trade. And uh, he said, they started this business with me. I want to include all of them. Uh, and in fact, he gave away uh, quite a bit of equity uh, to all the uh, original founders. So we had a group of 18 people.